Hey guys, I'm back. I wanted to make a new recipe. This one is one of my daughter's favorites. It's sausage and black bean enchiladas. And it is one of the easiest meals that you can make. So let me get y'all turned around here so you can see what's going on. All right, so as you can see, I am literally just browning some a roll of breakfast sausage i have jimmy dean but you can use um kroger walmart winn dixie wherever you get yours whatever your favorite uh, breakfast sausage is and it's just one pound so you're just gonna brown that i have my oven preheated to 350 degrees Okay, turn it down just a tiny bit. So once you um, get your um, sausage ground or browned, excuse me, I am having a tongue tie today. Once you get your sausage brown, what you'll do is you're going to take one can of black beans, and I've washed, I've drained them, rinsed them, and so they are ready to go in here. Just pour those in. What I do is I take the back of my wooden spoon and you just kind of mash them. Just kind of mash them in there. You don't have to mash them all. Just get a good bit of them mashed. And that's why I use my wooden spoon because it mashes them a little easier. Now, if you want to simplify this even more, you can use a can of refried beans. Uh, it'll make it a little softer inside the enchiladas than what it will already be but uh that's just another way make it a little faster so you ain't got to mash them beans all right so i got those mashed mm. clean off the side of my spoon there so it don't take much and then you're going to take a can of rotel you can use the Tomato and chilies, however you want to do it, just one can. It's what I had on hand. They had it on sale. So you're going to mix that in. Kind of get that a little warmed up. Mix that in pretty good. And then you're going to take some shredded cheese. Now, I buy block cheese and I shred it on my own. I don't like the texture of the pre-shredded cheese. I just, I don't like that starchy stuff on the outside of it. And I always find that the cheese that I shred uh, melts a lot easier. So, and I shred a lot at a time. So you're gonna take about two handfuls, which is about two cups. And I do cheddar and Kobe Jack mixed. So one, let's break it up there a little bit. Two, about two handfuls. I'm gonna mix that in. There's my oven, it's ready. And we like extra cheesy, so if you wanted to add more cheese, feel free to add more cheese. In fact, I think I might add just a tiny bit more. Yeah, about half a cup. There we go. Mix it all in there really good. Let that cheese get good and melted. Mix it really, really good. So the other thing that you're going to need is some tortillas. Now you can use the great big burrito size, you can use the soft taco size. It just depends on how you want to roll these up and put them in a pan. I grab whatever's on sale and if, it, if they're the small ones, then I roll them differently or I arrange them differently in my pan. All right, so here we go. We're pretty good mixed. So I'm going to turn that off. 
move my cheese out of the way. <clears throat> so I use just a glass, um, what do you call it, a casserole pan. Uh, you can use, I've used the aluminum foil casserole pans whenever I'm taking it somewhere. Okay, and then that way you can take it and throw it away. The next thing that you're gonna use is a can of enchilada sauce. If you don't like the red, you can use the green. And this is a 10 ounce can. So I pour about half in there. Just about half. All righty. Kind of give my pan a little swirl. Coat that bottom. All right. And I set it on a piece of parchment paper on a cast iron, on a cookie sheet. Because sometimes it likes to um, dribble. So here's my tortillas. I've got the medium soft taco kind. Gonna take your taco shell. I put just a couple good spoons, maybe a tiny bit more. Fold it, fold it, flip it upside down. I usually get about five, sometimes six across this pan. Fill, fold, fold, and flip. So if you decide that you don't like as much enchilada sauce, you can get the smaller can. Um, we just like the texture with using the whole can. I've tried it with smaller. I like them a little softer, a little juicier. Three. All right. Looks like I'm going to get five, which will be good because that's the last of my shells. All right. Four. You're not going to use all of your meat inside the tortillas. And um, if you're making a bunch, you can double this recipe really easy. Fold, fold, and flip. So the one thing that I like to do is I like to push down my edges because those will get like extra crisp if you don't. So I push down my edges a little bit, okay? I take the last half of my can, pour it over the top, okay? Take this spoon, just kinda smooth it a little bit. It ain't gotta be pretty. Then I take the last of my meat mixture. Kind of just spread it. Okay, then gotta be perfect. All right. And then you're going to take about two, two and a half more cups of shredded cheese, and you're just going to fill the top. Cover the top however you like. Like I said, we really like cheese in this house. But the recipe called for two cups inside and two cups outside. And I don't even remember where I got this recipe. I have cooked this thing, this meal, for so long. If you want to spice it up a bit, you could add a, uh, do the hot sausage. You could do um, the um, hot rotel. All right. So that's it. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick this in the oven. I'm going to bake it 
normally about 20, 25 minutes. It just depends on your cheese. If you like your cheese to have a little crust on top, bake it for a little longer because everything inside is pre-cooked, heated, ready to go. All you're doing is getting that cheese the way you want it. So I'm gonna slide this in the oven and then when I come back, we will uh, see what it looks like. All right, we're back. It is time to take it out of the oven. I'm super excited. Oh, and it didn't bubble, so that's good. All right. Doesn't that look awesome? So that cheese is nice and melted and ready to go. So we're gonna dig in. Get a little bit here. I'll cut it just a little bit more. Oh, still don't want to cut. There we go. I think I got it that time. All right. Sausage and black bean enchiladas. Get all that goodie in there. Woo. All right. Tell me what you think, folks. Looks good. Thank you guys for coming and watching me cook another meal and hope you enjoy it. I hope you take it and like it and, and your family enjoys it. So give me a like, give me a share, give me a comment. Tell me what you might want me to make next. All right, I'll see y'all with the next one. Bye.